Hi besties, welcome. I did not like that tone of voice. Hello besties, welcome back. Um, I'm doing as promised a Sunday check-in. I did go and get weighed in at my Weight Watchers. I didn't stay for the meeting, but I did get weighed in. You take wins when you can. So I'm going to go into that. But first of all, before I get into that fun stuff, I wanted to talk about some real fun stuff. I was wondering if you guys would like to do with me. Well, I'm doing it. If you would like to join in, that's cool. If you don't want to join in, that's cool too. It's your journey, baby. But I was wondering if you guys wanted to do start the Lean for Halloween challenge now. I know, I know you guys are like, it's June. Is, is it June? You see how overcast it is? Yeah, I welcome to Southern California. If you're thinking, hey, let's go to Southern California for a nice little warm vacation, be prepared to be disappointed because it is not warm. It was raining up until like five minutes ago. We have not had sun like straight sun for a week in months yeah yeah that, that's how it is right now so it's it's middle of june and it's overcast but i i know it's june it's june but bef before you know it it'll be the end of summer and then it'll be the beginning of fall and then we don't want to be like oops where did the time go so starting now let's do lean for halloween because some of us have some uh, quite a bit of weight to lose and it would be nice just to get, get off a couple of pounds by Halloween and you know look a little nice and saucy and sultry in our Halloween costumes or just even health-wise being able to trick-or-treat with the kids being able to hang with them and walk a little bit more go to more blocks stay out longer yeah a whole bunch of benefits so why not are you in i hope so if not that's cool i'm doing it usually lean for halloween starts on connect on the weight watchers app in september but i thought yeah you know you lose like five ten pounds which is great but i need to get the momentum going and i have goals i'd like to achieve by halloween slash my birthday which is the next day so let's let's start it let's start it why why the heck not and summer is that time summer is that time for me my routine doesn't really change during summer but i know for a lot of people school's out if you're in an, if you're in education your routine's disrupted the kids are home vacation times graduations father's day is coming up next sunday a whole bunch of stuff goes down during the summer for me a whole bunch of stuff does not go down but for a lot of people it does so i yes i did curl this side it just didn't hold i don't know why I, like i like this side but this side I, I don't know what happened so maybe i'll just walk around like this there, there we go that's better that looks nicer <laughs> so i just saw myself and i'm like whoa what's going on <laughs> so yeah so if you're in let me know anyways i've been talking about this long enough we are doing it lean for halloween challenge i'm doing it at least putting that out there so anyways how did my week go my week i was good like i i just zoned in i tracked my food did i track every little morsel no were there days i skipped tracking yeah honestly yeah there was i didn't track like thursday and beyond but i felt it was okay because i was eating the same stuff i was eating the days before i did have a little extra popcorn a little bit of stuff here and there nothing too drastic so when i got on the scale this morning i was down how much was i down two point yeah i don't have that same lady anymore who writes it down all nicely so i don't have proof but take i'm not i'm not gonna lie about this i am down 2.2 i think two point something but hey i was like good job me i will take that as a win and that is momentum to keep going forward and i'm i'm happy with that i'm very happy with that even if it was a gain i still think i would have been happy just because i'm doing the right things to get back into the momentum and you might be like well how'd you do it because a lot of some of you are one person i don't know someone commented last video that they're also in a slump and can't get into it i'm just giving you this the same advice that jojo the leader at this meeting gave me and she just said just track just start there oftentimes when we're getting back into plan it's always what do i do now what do i do now let me add more let me add more. no just track whatever it doesn't even have to be weight watchers weight watchers healthy noom whatever the heck you're doing calories 
just start tracking. It starts with the mindset. It starts with the food. So start there. And even if it was a gain, I would have been happy. And sometimes I am with a gain because it's like, well, whatever. Like I did everything right this week. But I wonder, I do wonder if it's because I have that okay so weight watchers a couple months ago sent out an email saying that everyone's who is lifetime who was lifetime in december is free until march of next year let me know if you got that email i did because i was lifetime in december so i think not having to pay for the program really takes a whole bunch of burdens off like it takes it takes so much pressure off and it got me thinking that does paying for a service encourage you to do it more or help you basically make you more motivated my personal experience no it doesn't you th you know those people who have gym memberships and they pay for it every single month a crap ton of money and they don't go well you pay a crap ton of money for weight watchers and i don't do it for a long time <laughs> You know, it, it's not a motivator. And yet I still know that it's it's still money. And I still feel down when I am paying. I feel more down and bad about myself than when I'm not. Because in my head, it's, oh, great, that's another month that I'm paying. Oh, great, that's another, I'm still not at lifetime. I'm still, I'll still have to be paying. I don't think, at least for me, it's not motivating to have to pay. But... For some people it might be let me know if it is for you because it's like yeah oh my gosh it's all this money i should be doing this i should be doing this i should be doing a lot of things but i'm not and i think when you finally hit lifetime and the program is free for you it's a sigh of relief because i don't have that pressure anymore like now now i can get on the scale and see a gain and not beat myself up about it and not be upset about it because i'm not paying so it's whatever the pounds will come off later on i'm still doing the right things and that's when i'm in the right mind frame of gaining as opposed to you know having to pay and seeing that gain i also think that's why a lot of people rush to get to goal that's why people do the extremes to get to goal because they just want to get to a point where they're not paying anymore anymore and it's just free and it's like oh well once i get to lifetime then i'll start applying all of these weight watcher lessons i don't know that's just me let me know if it's you too you too not you too the band but i'm at stater brothers right now and i have to go get grocery i'm making this nice little bean um patties black bean patties yeah, maybe I'll post a reel about or something about that. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know a lot of things. Let me know your thoughts on what I just talked about. Let me know how you did this week. Let me know your game plan for next week. Mine is just sticking to the same crap tracking. That's it. Let me know if you're in. Most importantly, let me know you're, if you're in for Lean for Halloween Challenge. Let me know how I can keep a curl on this side. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for listening and be sure to subscribe and like this video if you can relate and if you're in for the challenge. So I'll see you next time. Bye!